Hi, my name is Carlos Vargas, and my case study is Bonuses Can Backfire. My case study questions the premise of motivation by bonuses and whether bonuses are as beneficial as they seem. Before I dive deeper into the case study, I think it's important to know exactly what bonuses are. Bonuses are an added wage reward to a day salary. It's essentially a cherry on top of what you're already earning. These types of bonuses are typically performance-based. It's essentially reaching certain status quos, reaching certain quarterly targets, early targets, things of that nature. These bonuses also typically motivate individuals for rewards, not necessarily for the work they're doing, but instead they're motivated for the rewards they expect. The first major point that this case study makes is that tying rewards to performance is bad. Um, the only bonuses I thought existed, the ones I thought were positive, aren't what they seem. Workers are actually being punished by these rewards. More so, I believe, organizations are the ones being punished the most by handing out these types of rewards. These types of rewards can reduce intrinsic interest and they can cause misconduct in employees. Intrinsic interest is internal interest. It's, it's essentially passion. It's doing things because you want to do them. And by handing out these rewards, you can cause employees to lose sight of that. They, they drop their motivation, true motivation, and they focus on rewards, extrinsic, extrinsic motivators, external. These are rewards that, that lose sight of what they're actually doing. This can cause a drop in quality and an increase in quantity. This is not what you want. Um, this can cause misconduct because when, when you introduce an, a reward, people can tend to take shortcuts and take the shortest route possible for those rewards. Um, this can also cause cheating and obviously low, lower the quality of work. Um, although they have good intentions, it, these types of rewards tend to have bad outcomes in the long run. I have a very interesting statement here by a business, business professor at Harvard. Her name is Dina Gerdeman. She said that the financial crisis of 2008 was partially fueled by orig origination bonuses paid to bank loan officers who were incented to approve bad loans. This is, she's essentially saying that these performance based rewards partially fueled the 2008 financial crisis. Um, essentially, bank loan officers were handing out loans left and right because of their rewards they were incented by. They, they were handing out too many rewards, too many loans, I mean, for the reward they, they expected or thought they would receive. And although this might have seemed good in the short run, obviously in the long run, this was very, very detrimental. The second big point that this case study makes um, is to have a different outlook on, on rewards. And Alfie Cohn, the, the psychologist behind this whole case study, believes that rewards should be behavior-based, not performance-based. Um, I have a very good quote here by a Andrea. Her, uh, she works for an insurance company, uh, IHN. She states, a number of factors determine business success, but the most important is employee behavior. So obviously you can see them both realizing the importance of behavior. You can see here, rewarded behavior equals increased commitment to that rewarded behavior. Um, basically, if you reward a be an employee for behavior, that's good, behavior that you want, that employee will be inclined to to repeat that type of behavior. They're going to be more committed to, to do that again. And by doing that, they built a genuine good behavior that can be instilled in the long run, not just short run. Again, this is not, not providing incentives based on performance. This is rewarding behavior. 
as a manager, would I use bonuses regularly? No, no, I would not. Um, obviously, this could shift the employees' focus. Um, they could lose interest in what they're doing and what they're actually doing and gain it for, for the reward that they want or they expect. This is not what you want. And also, I don't think bonuses should be regular. It should never be something expected. Instead, it should be something special, something that doesn't come often. And when it does happen, it should be based on behavior, behavior that's positive, behavior that's po that's desired by the manager or the organization. Also, it's very important that in a reward or bonus should be based on improvement, not just meeting a status quo. You want people to improve in the long run. You want the organization to be better off in the long run, not just the short run. <clears throat> My experience with bonuses um, have been very interesting, both on a professional stand professional standpoint and an athletic standpoint. Um, these past summers, I've been working as a car salesman. I get paid to sell ca cars. Obviously, when I sell a car, I get paid. And after reading this this case study, I've noticed that I've been way too focused on the money. Obviously, it's important, but I need more interest. In it interest that's what that's what pushes me and that's what separates the best people from everybody else um i noticed that when i get a good bonus or a good little paycheck or a paycheck i think is pretty good i tend to get motivated like crazy for two days i get really motivated i want to work i want to do all this and then it kind of dies down after a few days it's just kind of a short run kind of a little rush um, and I'm just kind of working just for that little rush again. But when, it, when I don't get that little rush again, and I get a smaller bonus for work I thought I was doing well, I tend to kind of die down. I kind of lose motivation. I kind of lose focus. And this is the same with soccer. You can see here, doing well, reward, drop mentality. When I do well, um, I get rewarded. I get more responsibility. I get... I don't know, I get rewarded and I tend to kind of put off the gas. I don't do as well. I drop my mentality. And obviously that's my fault, but I've noticed that these rewards are both harmful for me and the organizations I'm a part of. I don't think I should be rewarded for for, for my performance, for having a good game, for scoring a goal, for doing this and that. I should be rewarded for for who I am and who they want me to be. For I should be rewarded for my behavior because that's what's what's truly important. That's what what helps organizations and what helps helps people individually. Group bonuses, do I believe they're they're good? Um no, I don't think group bonuses are beneficial. I think they might be the worst type of bonuses, in my opinion. Um, and these group bonuses, like an employee of the month, top salesman, those types of stuff, I think are really harmful to organizations. Um, I have a really good example here. So this laundry plant decided to implement this tardiness program to all the employees of the plant. So if an employee came on time for a whole month, they would be entered into a gift card drawing. And what this caused was gaming. Um, employees of this plant started to game with this program. Absences started, started to skyrocket because people didn't want to be tardy. So instead of being tardy and being kicked out of the drawing, they would call in sick or make up some bogus excuse. And you could see um, tardiness skyrocket because they don't want to be disqualified. Also, um, a very big thing that happened because of this program, this group bonus program, um, stellar employees productivity dropped six to 8%. The best employees dropped down, dropped down their work ethic. They just dropped down completely because they're turned off by this whole program. They, they lost motivation because they recognize people People were being re rewarded just because of changing behavior that they always exhibited. And 
obviously they didn't like that that this motivated them and that it caused a whole a whole downturn in, in the laundry plant people would miss shifts so it was an assembly line type of work so if someone ship somebody missed work in a certain sector it slowed on the whole plant their best people weren't doing as well so it just caused a, a, a completely negative downturn in the organization it overshined what you could say bad employees and it undershined um, the best employees and it, it obviously caused misbehavior gaming and cheating of that types of sort um, a type of reward program I would make um, I would first identify positive and negative employee behavior that's the first thing you need to do know what's good and bad secondly it's 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 important and I think it's good to know and get input from all the employees all levels of the company executives HR department every employer I think it should be everybody. Everybody should have an input on goals and what they think a good employee should act like and be like. After this input, you clearly define good and bad behaviors to the whole organization or to the people you're managing. You define these good and bad behaviors and you, you implement these goals and goals of improvement most importantly. After this, this whole definition of what you want what the organization wants um you reward you reward employees who exhibit this good behavior and more specifically it should be consistent someone shouldn't show this good behavior one day and be rewarded it should be consistent so they know it's that's what exactly what they're looking for you, you want long-term improvement not just short-term improvement also something very interesting that i saw um was in an idea of a behavioral bank account. Um, essentially, this is an each employee gets a, a starting deposit of, let's say, five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, and they get the reward at the end of the year based on their deposits and 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 subtractions. If uh, an employee exhibits good behavior, you notice that you add to their behavioral bank account. And if they're not exhibiting good behavior, you subtract that. And based on all of those behaviors, at the end of the year, it's is what the is this is the reward they got. And I believe this should be this should be confidential. I don't think all the employees should know this, um, but you should. I think you should let people know individually how they're doing. Maybe not money wise, but behavioral wise. And also, I think the most important is to reward. Once you notice consistent good behavior that the organization wants and sees this is important, it should be rewarded instantly, not at the end of the year. It's good to, to, to know. Employees should know that they're appreciated. Um, my final thoughts were, I thought this case study was very interesting. Um, it made me think a lot about myself and how bonuses have affected my life. Um, I think it's very interesting. I never thought bonuses could really have this effect on people, but once I kind of put myself in in in, in the bonuses in the in this in these scenarios, I I quickly realized how it was affecting me. Um, but the most important thing to take out of this out of this case study is that rewards based on performance are bad. And reward based rewards based on behavior are good, and there should be a clear a clear line between that. And managers should should try to steer off rewarding based on performance because it's not necessarily going to help the organization in the long run. And that's it. Here's my work cited. Thank you.